Hi, I'm Jennifer of Celtic Knot Crochet, and today in this video I'll be showing you how to make the two color crochet dishcloth. This is an easy crochet pattern, and I'll show you each step of the way. If you like this project, don't forget to give us a thumbs up or click to subscribe. The two color crochet dishcloth pattern can be found on my blog as a free pattern. You'll see the written pattern there, but I will give you all the steps here in this video. You only need to know two stitches for this project, single crochet and half double crochet. I will show you how to start, how to change colors, and then how to add a simple edging. This is a fun dishcloth because the stitch pattern gives it a really nice texture, and when you flip it over, you see the opposite colors accentuated. To create this project, you will need two colors of cotton yarn. I'm using Lily Sugar and Cream. This is one of the super size balls of yarn uh, in the color Ecru, uh, but you could use whatever color you want. Uh, of course, it looks best if you have two contrasting colors, but I think maybe a dark green and a light green would also look pretty. Uh, and then I'm using a hot pink color. So you don't need a lot of cotton yarn, dishcloth yarn for this project, so it's a great project to use up what you already have in your stash. Then you'll need a size H 5 millimeter crochet hook, and you'll need scissors and a yarn needle. And that's it. So let me show you how to begin. First you have to decide which color you want to be your main color. So if you look at the stitch pattern, you see that I started with pink, then I changed to the off-white, and then pink, and so forth. But then I edged the whole thing in pink, so on this side you get a lot of pink. But look what happens when you turn the dishcloth over. Then you see this pretty pink and white together in a different way. See how it looks different? So you just need to pick which you want to be your edging color. So on this one here, I started with the white and then alternated with the green, and then I edged it with the white. And then when you turn it over, you get this different, neat look. This dishcloth is approximately seven and a half inches wide and seven and a half inches why the other way. It's approximately a square. To begin crocheting this project, I'm going to put my slip knot on my hook. I'm going to use the off-white as my main color for this dishcloth, and I'm going to chain 26. To begin row one, we're going to skip the first chain and we're going to work into that next chain right there. And we're going to work a single crochet. Yarn over, pull through the chain, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. Then we're going to work a half double crochet in the same chain. Yarn over, put my hook into the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on my hook yarn over, pull through all three. So this here is called a shell. One single crochet, one half double crochet. Then we're going to skip the next chain and do the same thing in the chain after that. Single crochet, half double. Then I'm going to skip the next chain and do that again. So this project has a one row repeat once you set up that first row here. So I'm going to work like that across the entire chain. Skip a chain, then do single crochet, oops, single crochet, 
half double crochet in the next chain. And you'll want to continue to the very last chain and then we're going to switch colors with the last stitch. Here I am skipping the next stitch and that puts me at the last chain. So I'm going to single crochet, half double crochet. Now, before I finish the half double crochet, I'm going to be changing colors. So I did the single crochet, then I yarn over, put my hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on my hook. Now normally I would yarn over with my current yarn and pull through to finish the stitch. But now I'm going to change colors. So I'm going to pick up the pink. I like to put a little loop like this so I can grab it easily with my hook and then I pull it through those three loops. And then you'll want to pull the white yarn so it stays nice and tight. And that's how you change the color. So I'll show you one more time. So I'm working the last stitch of the row, which is a half double crochet. I yarn over, put my hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on my hook, drop the current yarn, pick up the new yarn where I've just folded it over into a loop. Here's the end, like so. Pinch that loop, yarn over and pull it through, and then pull the white so it's nice and snug. And later we can tie these two in a knot so they don't come undone. Now I'm going to work with the pink yarn. But I discovered I'm going to also work over the top of the white yarn and I'm going to carry it along. This is so I don't have to change colors at the end of every row. But I discovered that if you lay the old yarn over the new yarn and then do your chain one for the beginning of the row, you'll have a nice clean join of the colors. So I'll show you that again. So we just changed colors. Now I'm going to take the old color and lay it up over the new color, yarn over, and do my chain one. And again, snug it up. Now I'm going to turn my work. And sometimes when you do color work like this, look what happens to your yarn it gets wound around. So it can prevent a lot of headache if you just take two seconds to unwind the yarn. And now that I have my new color, I'm going to have the new color be in the back of my project. And I'm going to pull the old color, which is the white, off-white, up in front. And this is the yarn tails. And in fact, I told you we could tie them together later. It's probably a good idea to tie them together right now. This is just those two beginning yarn tails, the white and the pink. And now those aren't going to pull out on us as we work the next row. So I have my chain one started. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work into every single crochet. So this here, the first stitch is a half double, then this is a single, half double, single, half double, single. Everything's in the opposite order that it was in row one. So for row so here you can see, here are the stitches, half double, single, half double, single, and I want to make sure that my white yarn is laying across like this and I'll insert my hook through the single crochet, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and then half double in that same stitch 
and now I skip that half double and I work in the single crochet. So all you do is work in single crochets and every time you make a single crochet, half double. And just make sure you're gently laying the yarn. You don't want to pull the yarn too tight um, because then it'll start bunching up your project. So again, here are the next two stitches, half double, single. I'm going to lay the yarn next to them, hold it with my non-dominant hand, make sure that yarn is under the hook when I insert it into the single crochet. Actually, it's over the hook. The more you do, the quicker you get with this. And trust me, it's really nice to not have to weave in the ends at the end of every row. This way, you only have to weave in ends at the beginning and the end of your project. See how that works? So these are the shells, and they alternate with the shells of the last row. Now you're going to have 13 shells across each row. So I recommend counting because you could miss one of your last shells thinking that you don't need to add one more when we get to the end of the row and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so here I am. I have got one more to do out here. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. See, I know I need 13. So that's why I recommend you count at the end of each row so you're sure that you've done the right amount. So here's the last shell from the first row, and here's the half double crochet and the single crochet. So I want to make sure I go in that last single crochet, catching the white yarn, yarn over, pull a loop up, two loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through two. Now we're going to change back to the white yarn. So we start the half double crochet, yarn over, hook in, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on my hook, drop the pink, yarn over with the white, and pull through. And then I can pull that pink to make sure the stitch isn't too loose. Now I want to do a chain one, and remember, I'm going to put the old color over the new color, yarn over, chain one. And then I have a couple tangles here. I'm going to untangle the yarn, untwist it, one, two, and then if we remember, we want the new color in the back when we turn, and the old color in the front riding along. So I've already done my chain one. Here are the stitches. This is the chain one, the white, and then we have the half double, single, half double, single. So we skip the half double, make sure we catch the old yarn, put our hook into the single crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over, hook in, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through three. Keep that old yarn there skip the stitch, work into the single crochet. And you're going to continue along making sure that you have 13 shells in each row and you'll continue until it measures approximately seven and a half inches long. So you'll have a total of 21 rows, or if you wanna just count your main color, your main color 
will be 11 rows because you start with it and end with it. And then your accent color will have 10 rows. See how this looks different from this one. So my main color is white. This one, my main color is pink. So they give a different look. I think this would look great if you made the same two colors but alternated your main color and gave them as a gift set with a nice bar of soap or a bottle of sanitizer would make a really cute gift. So when we get to here, I want to check that I've done the right amount. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, so I've done the 13 total shells. I'm going to undo the last one because this is where we need to change colors. So I'll show you the change color one more time. So I'm going to do a half double crochet, yarn over, hook in, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on my hook, drop the current color, grab the new color, yarn over, pull through the three, pull the old color so it snugs it up, and then take the old color, these are the yarn tails, we don't need those, the old color, lay it over the new color so it's caught up in that chain one. And then we turn our work and we want the new color in the back and the old color in the front. So again, here you can see it's caught up a little bit. So untwist, one, two. And now I have the old color in the front new color in the back and I'm ready to complete my 21 rows. I will end with a white row. Here I've completed all my rows up to row 21. So my main color will have 11 rows and my contrasting color will have 10. So here I come up on the end, the last couple stitches here. This is the last single crochet and again I want to show you, see how there are two more stitches in the pink color. So I know when I'm working across with the white, I want to make sure that I work into that last stitch of the other color. I don't want to stop here because I'll end up losing stitches in my round, uh, in my row. So single crochet and now for this one I'm going to keep the white as I end the half double crochet. And then again I'm going to untwist my yarn and set aside the pink. And now I'm going to work down the side of the rows with a simple single crochet. So I'm going to chain one and put a single crochet in that same stitch that I just worked the last shell. And again, if we want to check, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 shells in my last row and 13 in the first. And now I'm going to work just right into the side of the rows and do evenly spaced single crochets down the side like so. And you just want to make sure that you don't put them too close together or the side of your dishcloth will uh, start to ruffle. And this helps give it a nice clean edge helps cover up some of the little loops from color changing. And I chose the main color to start with, to end with, so then I'm going to put the main color on the left and the right. If you want, you could put the contrasting color on the left and the right. 
So I'm going to continue with the single crochets down the side until I get to this corner. Alright, so you can see I went all the way across with my single crochet all the way up until that very last stitch and then I'm going to put my hook into the first stitch and do a slip stitch like that. And that helps to round the corner. And then I'll cut my yarn about six inches out and I'll weave that tail in. So now I want to do the same thing on the other side. Now one thing I wanted to mention is that this is the right side of the dishcloth. So we started going with the white and back and forth. So every time you do an odd row, it's the right side. So we went to the edge, then we didn't fasten off and we kept going, and then we fastened off here. And still keep this right side facing. I'm going to put the slip knot on my hook, and I'm going to start right here at the corner my hook into a loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through two. And that's called join with a single crochet. I'll show you one more time. So I have my slip knot on my hook, put my hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, then yarn over, pull through two. And now I'm going to do the same thing I did on the first side, and I'm going to work down evenly working single crochets to the next corner. Now my second side is almost complete and I have one more stitch here. You can see where the pink is showing on the edge. I just want to cover that up with white and then here is my first single crochet of the last row. I'm going to put my hook in there, yarn over and pull through everything for a slip stitch and that helps round and close up the corner. And there we go. So if you see them next to each other you could see this one on the right. The pink is the main color with the white being the contrasting color and then the one on the left the white is the main color and the pink is the contrasting color. Here, I'll turn them so they're both going the same way. And then if you flip them over, you get that nice look on the other side. The last thing we need to do before we finish our dishcloth, our last finishing step is to thread the yarn tails onto a yarn needle and work on the wrong side. I know this is the wrong side because the edging right here, the single crochet edging, that's the back of it. And I'm going to pull the yarn tail through about four or five stitches like so. And then I'll go back through, skip a few stitches, skip one stitch, and then go back through like so. And since this is a dishcloth, you want to make sure that your ends are woven in really well. So you're going to make sure it goes through several stitches and is hidden. And then you'll want to trim the excess off, like so. And then when I get to the pink, I'm going to do the same thing, but I want to make sure that I run the pink through the pink stitches. So I hope you enjoyed making the two color crochet dishcloth. Please don't forget to click to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and let us know which colors you made these in in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. Happy crocheting!